In this video, we are going to look at the intersection of two vector lines. And this is a key concept that appears in the more difficult IV maths exam questions. Okay, so we have two vector lines here, two vector equation of lines, L1 and L2. And what these look like, well, we have an L1 here, some line, it's a vector equation of a line, and we might have an L2 here. And we want to see, firstly, do they intersect or are they just in space, then they'll never intersect. And that's called skew, but these ones will intersect. And we want to find where it intersects. And this can be a coordinate or we can, uh, we can give it a position vector from the origin. So we can either give it a coordinate or a position vector. And we're going to find that point. Okay, so when they intersect, they're going to be equal to each other, those two lines. And when they're equal to each other, the X values of the lines the y values and the z values will be equal to each other. So what we need to do is we need to look at our parametric equations. Now parametric equations, it's just a fancy word for the x equation, the y equation and the z equation uh, for each of the two vectors and make them equal to each other. Okay, so the parametric equation for the x of L1 will be negative two plus three t. So I just took the negative two plus t times three and this is the x, and this will be equal to the x of L2 when they intersect. So 1 plus s times 1. Okay, what about the y's? Well, 1 plus 2t, 1 plus 2t, this will equal the y equation of L2, which will be negative 1 plus 2s, and then uh, 0 plus uh, t times 1, so just t, this will be equal to the z equation for L2, which is 8 plus s times negative 2, so 8 minus 2s. Now what we'll see here is we have three equations, and in each of the equations there's two unknowns. So this is a simultaneous equation exercise, where we need to try and use the equations uh, to solve for t and s. Now you might need to re-familiarize yourself with simultaneous equations and how we sub things into something, but uh, I've spotted here that t is by itself, t is equal to 8 minus 2s, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sub this t, 8 minus 2s, into either equation 1 or equation 2. It doesn't matter which one. I'm just going to sub it into this one here. So if I do that, I'm going to have 1 plus 2 times, and I'm not going to write t, I'm going to replace t with 8 minus 2s. And the reason why I've done that is because once I put the right-hand side of this equation, I'll realize I now have an equation that only has the one variable, and I can solve for s. So if I expand this bracket, 1 plus 2 times 8 is 16, and then minus 4s is equal to negative 1 plus 2s. I will bring the negative 4s over, and add it to 2s, so 6s and 1 plus uh, 16 is 17, and I'll add another one over, it'll be 18, so therefore s is equal to 3. Now we can solve, we can sub s of 3 back in to find t, because t will therefore just be 8 minus 2 times 3, 8 minus 6 is 2, but we actually don't need to find both of these variables. Because once we've found one of them, for example, s equals 3, we know if we sub s equals 3 into the vector equation of a line that has s, we can work our way across and find the resultant position. And that will be the position where they intersect. If I, in that, if I instead subbed t equals 2 into its equation and worked our way across, we would actually get the same resultant. Of course, because that's the point where they intersect. So if I sub s equals 3 into L2, I know that I'm going to get 1, negative 1, 8, plus, now instead of s, I'm going to put 3, and it will be 1, 2, negative 2. I'll now have a resultant answer, so 1 plus 3 times 1, so that'll be 4, negative 1 plus 3 times 2, so it'll be negative 1 plus 6, and then 8 
um, then we subtract 6, so it'll be 2. So this position vector here, 4, 5, 2, this will be the position vector where they intersect. I could have found this by subbing t equals 2 into L1. So if the question asks for the coordinate at where these two vectors intersect, we can just say the coordinate will be 4, 5, 2. And this is the coordinate on our plane where these two vectors will intersect. Okay, so in a quick summary, we need to find the parametric equations of the two vectors that we're interested in. And we make the parametric equations equal to each other. So the x is equal to the x equation, the y to the y, the z to the z. We will get three equations here where we need to use simultaneous equations. Try and get one of the, uh, the variables by itself and sub it into one of the other equations, which I've done here. That helps us solve for one of the variables. And once you've found one, you can actually just sub that back into the line equation and find the resultant point. You don't need to find the second variable, but if you really want to check your answer, you can sub t equals 2 in and check your answer. Okay, so this is how we find the intersection of two lines. Just a quick note, if we have our variables s and t, and if we, if we want to check and sub them back into all of these three equations to just check if they all actually equal to each other, if they don't equal each other, or you couldn't solve for s or t when you were doing this process, it means that the lines don't actually intersect. They will be skew. But not many questions ask that. It's a bit of a trick question, but just uh, pointing it out. Okay, good luck.